Good morning. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. It's not afternoon. Uh, the house is obviously full. There's more boxes over there. So this stuff all started coming in on Wednesday. Yesterday and today we are getting it shipped. Friends and family have already ordered this stuff months ago. I don't know why I'm walking around the house. I always do this when I'm vlogging. There seems to be people who don't know how I do things, which I understand because it's not normal. Everything that I drop tends to drop for the public. It just goes to friends and family first. Friends and family is a paid subscription. Actually gauge how much stuff to make, afford to make stuff, turn a profit on some of the things that I do that are not profitable, like eight color graphics, crazy stuff that I you know always and just trying to run a small business myself because all this is is really me putting my art on garments but usually what happens is within a week or two of the friends and family um shipping there's usually a public release friends and family also gets access to this drop before the public so sometimes it dwindles and sometimes the public drops there's really not that much stock because friends and family has taken it all in the past when i've just created stuff and tried to drop it to the public you end up with too much excess it's hard to gauge how much to make to make Make people happy you end up ostracizing or marginalizing some of the people who do want your stuff um, who can't get it because someone else is trying to resell it or whatever the case could be so with this system yes it may cost a little more to pay for the subscription service but i usually make up for that you know discounts exclusive colorways exclusive design whatever i can do to make it worth it so that's how that works. It's not open right now. I open up the signups here and there. Your best bet is just to follow me on Twitter or Instagram because I post it there mostly. But yeah, it will be open up pretty soon. I only open signups for like a couple of days. It just gets overwhelming. Like I'm just trying to create stuff and get it to people who actually want it and, um, you know, like keep this thing going because it's like... This is my entire, this is, I put all my eggs in this basket. That and tattooing. I don't know, some people think that I like quit tattooing also, which I didn't do. I just, I took a break when I was touring around doing sneaker stuff, but I still tattoo all the time. I don't really, people are weird. I don't know. Yeah. I have a vault. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, January is basically booked for the rest of the year, but I'm thinking about hitting the road for February. Thinking about just hopping in the car and just going somewhere, maybe even a few places because, you know, that's the way road work. Part of me inside wants to just hop in the Tesla, load it up with stuff, and just kind of like do a road dog tour, tattoo my way across the nation. Uh, part of me wants to just hop on a flight and just jump to Houston, maybe Chicago, and come back. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I'm probably going to be looking at those options this week. It's been nuts, like just super nuts with like business stuff. I get away from politics on every, I guess just this week has been uh, incredibly ridiculous and I really didn't vlog because I was doing all of that. And I painted. Projects that I'm doing are the bear painting coming up. I really need to finish this koala collab. I have one more thing to do with a sweatshirt. Koala collab. I'm dropping two different coloring books really soon. I'm gonna do a Ted Teddy Bear Theodore. His name's Theodore. Coloring book and also like a tattoo drawing coloring book slash sketchbook whatever tattooers can use it to tattoo off of color and whatever this weekend that's my project is to get all those drawings finished this is what my life consists of is creating it making it selling it and then moving on to the next one and this drop has been crazy like it's called for love or money and it's proved it the whole time because it has taken two months since we ordered this drop which is crazy they say that's because of the holidays and stuff but we've never had quite a delay like this hopefully that is past now but i've also been working with some newer people too and like just expanding my shit like this shit is not easy and with everything that's going on in the world not to be political it got it's gotten a lot harder i'm not here to complain about it i'm just informing you that is the case and that is why I grind so hard and I'm always doing something creative and trying to like create things. This is my driving force. I've put myself in this position where I have to create to survive. Sometimes can fucking be stressful, but it's forced me to just continue to create. So those are the things that I'm good at. You know, I'm good at art. I'm good at drawing. I'm good at telling stories. I'm funny. You know, this is not me just sitting here tooting my own horn. What this today could possibly be about is me failing. Not in a conventional sense, but we have an issue. We have ordered this Rogue P5V pull-up bar. The system is here. Ah, so, garage setup. This has got to move off of the fucking crack for sure. That's driving me crazy. But now we have to figure out where to hang this. Obviously going to be in this area. I think it can go in the ceiling or the wall. I know nothing. Nothing about installing anything. I'm terrible at measuring. Awful 
at installing. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just call someone to do this, if I should do it myself. To me, it seems like something that I should call somebody, but I don't know if that's uh, possible today. I'm trying to get the home gym finished and done and like operational so I can do everything. The pull-up bar itself is not really for pull-ups for me. Maybe we'll get there, but I'm not a, I'm not a pull-up. Diddy is the pull-up master, so I got the pull-up bar to install, create a crossbar for the pulley system, which I haven't even ordered the pulley yet. There I am still going to Lifetime Street. So like next month, I think we're gonna put it on pause. And I'm gonna try and get everything here so I can just do the workouts here instead of there. Because if we're gonna install it, we gotta go to the hardware store. It doesn't come with hardware. It just got these two bolts that hold the bar in place. Hours later and I finally have all the shit. We gotta figure out where, here, here, and here, and here. It's uh, four o'clock, we're still shipping, and I'm going on a bike ride because it's too nice not to. It's talking to the vlog, telling them you're still shipping and I'm going on a bike ride. Do you have anything to add? Well, I'm not technically shipping actively, I'm folding. Well, we're on no food today. I've had one cheese sandwich. I still just want to go ride my bike. So we're going with one cheese sandwich in the tank. Yo, did he just start freeze drying fucking Sunrise Bagels and selling it to us and we'll flip? I am so glad that you just mentioned Sunrise Bagel. For somebody who hasn't had a Sunrise Bagel in longer than fucking six years, because it's not like I was going For to For people out there who don't know Sunrise yeah, Bagels, the best is bagels a bagel in place the world. in Kingston, New York. It's a bagel place. And no, I don't know about the best They're bagels, pretty good personal. bagels. They're the best bagels in that area. I mean, Brugger's Bagels in Albany was pretty fucking good. I personally yeah. think Brugger's mm. I I get the fuck, get off, yeah. go, goodbye, 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 I did. goodbye, you just said Brugger's, did you just say Brugger's in this motherfucker, Brugger's, Brugger's, you're tripping, yo dog, your culinary skills are just lacking, with the bro bro, heady bop, wow. diddy bop and heady bop, the reunion, <laughs> running some errands and then, uh, get some food, cook some dinner, cook some dinner, yes, 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 check on these bagels first, oh yeah, I haven't watched the, the, the fucking podcast yet, but I heard you ever see? some bagel debates. Some bagel debates, see? And it makes sense because, you know, we're the Bop Brothers here. Hetty's with me on this whole thing, how, you know, bagels are bagels for the most part. But we're going to put it to the test. The, the consistency is there, what you want from a bagel. But to me, personally, they're just... they're. They're too big. They're too overproof. The same consistency bagel as Sunrise, but just like slimmed down. Yeah. Like a little bit of a smaller version. Taste test. Hetty, what'd you get? Uh, so I got a poppy seed bagel with jalapeno cream cheese. I tried to get the everything bagel. They don't have any more. So I got bacon, egg, and cheese on an onion bagel. See the awesomeness? Mmm. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Bacon, egg, and chisel. Let's see. quintessential New York bagel, extra, 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 big and fluffy, lots of cream cheese, but nah, the, the texture is great. The crumb is really nice on it, which would be the technical term. Is it just a regular bagel to you? Ah, I hadn't had one in years, so I think naturally like my impression of them, not that I like eat bagels all the time or like I'm a huge bagel guy, but I think now, after having it again, they're pretty fucking good. They're pretty dark. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I was kind of like with you. And yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe these guys just don't have them all the time or whatever. It gets, it gets a Diddy Bop approval. It gets a Tiger Woods. You're grumpy in your last vlog update. I was grumpy? Yeah, you were folding, you were grumpy. I wasn't grumpy, I was focused. Oh. Okay, well, the pull-up bar didn't happen yesterday because uh, I went on the bike ride and then what? Oh, I was just so hungry, we ate. Yeah, I, I was... had a headache yesterday a little bit. We're slowly descending into headache Yeah, I'm not feeling amazing today, so my head is fucking killing me. I promised the world that I'd try to hang this pull-up bar. So, here's what we're gonna do. We got the stud finder. Uh, stud finder? We're gonna find the stud. Oh, I got you. I don't know if it's perfect. 
Behold. <laughs>